If you own a Google Pixel 6a or you're just worried about your smartphone battery getting too hot in general, then today I can show you a free and open source application that will alert you when your battery is getting too hot. Specifically, when your battery passes a certain degree. Google recently announced that a subset of its Pixel 6a customers have devices with a battery that is now considered dangerous. There have been multiple reports about this device catching fire, and Google has been able to narrow things down to certain units having a faulty battery inside of them. The same thing happened earlier this year with the Pixel 4a series, and it's actually causing some people to circumvent the battery performance program over the air update that the company has been pushing out. I understand that in those situations where you just cannot afford to fix or replace a phone. So today I want to at least be able to help those who are forced to continue using phones with a worrisome battery. This application that I'm going to show you can also be used by anyone who is just proactive about keeping their phone's components as safe as possible. Because many of us are just not aware of when the battery inside our devices end up getting too hot and going into an unsafe territory. For anyone who has not looked into this topic before, big tech companies like Apple and Samsung recommend 35 degrees Celsius as your highest ambient temperature that the battery inside your phone should be getting up to. But with that said, extended use at this specific temperature or higher can lead to long-term damage to the health of the battery. And this translates to around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. If you see the battery getting to 40 degrees Celsius, this is when you will want to back off on whatever you're doing with the phone, as this could be gaming or simply having your phone in the sun for an extended period of time, especially if it's also inside of a car with all of its windows rolled up. The battery is going to be considered in a harmful condition when it reaches 60 degrees Celsius. And then this gets up to a critical temperature at around 80 degrees Celsius, which is both 140 degrees and 176 degrees Fahrenheit for those who are curious. Anything around 80 C is when your battery can start leading into thermal runaway, and that's when it actually gets to be too late. So the goal is to prevent the battery from being damaged so much that all it can do is keep increasing in its temperature. My first idea for the day was to share an automation macro that will create a notification for you when your battery temperature reaches a certain point. I think this is a good idea since it can also be set up to do things like shut the phone down after it passes a certain degree. But I ended up using a dedicated free and open source application called BatteryBot Pro in an attempt to keep things as simple as possible but I'll also be linking to that macro that I created so that you can download and import it into the macro droid app if you want. But I'll talk about that in more detail in a little bit. The battery bot pro application can be found on F droid, but you don't need to install F droid if you don't want to. The F droid website links to the APK file that can be downloaded and sideloaded on your phone. And I'll have that linked down below. Once the app has been installed, go ahead and open it up and look for the alarms tab up here in the top right. 
I disabled the fully charged toggle because it was on by default. And then I tap on the add alarm button up here. So we're going to make sure that the alarm is enabled. And we're first going to change the alarm type. We're going to set this up to temperature rises above. And then we're going to set the threshold. So we have temperatures between zero degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. And when we think back to those recommended temperatures, 60 degrees Celsius is a common suggestion for those worried about an overheating battery. And it's actually the highest level that we can get to in this app. But you may consider that to be too high for your Google Pixel 6a, especially if it's already been determined that the battery is faulty and you want to prevent as much damage to it as possible. So in these situations, or for those who just want to be extra cautious, it may be best to set this to 44 degrees Celsius or 46 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. That way you're gonna be informed well ahead of when your battery reaches those dangerous and harmful levels. With that set up, tap on the back arrow to go back to your alarms tab and you're gonna see that alarm that you just set is already going to be toggled on. You can go ahead and test this out right now by playing a popular game or just running a benchmark app a few times to crank up that battery temperature. Now, as mentioned, if you wanted, you could use the Macro Droid app to automate something like this. And this is actually my favorite automation app as it's quite easy to use. So in this example, we're gonna set up the trigger to happen when the battery reaches a certain temperature, like 60 degrees C or higher in this current setup. But again, you can customize this to anything you want from zero C all the way up to 100 C in this app. The next thing we're gonna do is set up an action or possibly a series of actions to take place when the battery reaches that level. So for this macro, I just set it up to create a notification. We leave the notification ID set to zero. We're gonna use text instead of image to keep things simple. We don't even need text for the icon. We're just gonna label it battery temperature and then give it some notification text. You can even add buttons here at the bottom. So like tapping the OK button will dismiss that notification. So in this example, the action will actually look like this. The notification will stay in your notification panel until it gets swiped away but it's a nice little alert to have. Now you could also use this to close apps with that action, or you could even set it up to turn the phone off if you wanted to. You will need to grant Macro Droid certain permissions if you want it to perform certain actions like that, but there are a lot to choose from within Macro Droid, so I highly recommend that you give it a look because you may want it to just turn off completely if there are going to be extended periods of time when you aren't going to be near the phone or long periods when you won't be able to actively do something to remedy when the battery temperature gets too hot. Again, there's a lot that you can do here, but for anyone who likes the idea of using a macro like this, I have exported this one specifically to a file and I'll link that down in the video description below so that you can actually go in and manually import this instead of having to set it up yourself. 
with as dangerous as lithium ion batteries can be, it's always surprised me that smartphone OEMs have started making them so difficult to replace. Even going so far as to fully glue in that battery cell into the inside of the phone. Especially when it's used inside of a device that most of us keep in our pocket or next to us for nearly 24 hours every day. I think it's fair for me to be able to detect when the battery is starting to overheat and expand so that I can remove the backing and toss the battery somewhere safe. Since there are going to be times when people actually think twice about what to do when their phone is smoking due to the battery catching fire because many people are going to think twice about losing those photos or those videos or those phone numbers that they have saved in our phone. So, if this video has been able to give you some reassurance about your battery, then please remember to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel either for more Android safety tips like this.